Hey, what's up guys? Maximus Black here bringing you another game sent in by the fans on d2dgamer.com here on the solo channel. We doing it live. Of course, I've never seen any of these games. When I do these are all cold casts and uh, this is just another chance for you guys to maybe learn a little something and maybe have a good old laugh. But let me introduce those players. We have Sib Liant, Sib Liant. I'm gonna call him Sib. And up top here we have Jace. So this is gonna be a PVT. One of my more favorite matchups to cast, just because uh, TVT sucks, PVP is horrible. Um, ZVZ is actually can be all right. Um, and I just like. I don't know, I just like the counters and, and I mean this is, I do believe this is a bronze level game, I'm not sure. But uh, long story short, I just like the thought of PVT. Some some good things can come out of it, some nice high action pack stuff. And it looks like Sib is actually going to find Jace's base first. That is unfortunate for Jace. And he's going to take the long way around. Hating it. Look at that. Oh. How many people, in the comment section below, how many times, actually I'm not even going to ask you how many times, but who in the comments can relate to it seems like every single time that you go and scout, it's always the last place you look. I know it happens to me all the time, but Sib actually getting lucky and figuring that out, that can actually give him a huge advantage, except that the Terran player is actually walling off against Protoss. This isn't necessary unless you plan on doing something a little crazy. So I guess I'm going to hold my, my criticism until I figure out exactly what kind of build uh, Jace is going to be going. It looks like already that he might be going for some three rack aggression. He does have two barracks down. Still no refinery for him yet. Uh, so he won't be able to get a tech lab or anything like that. So we may see some, uh, some fast marines. We could even see a marine SCV all in. I have no idea. It's still too early to tell. We go over and take a look at the Protoss base once again. Getting two gateways before Cyberness Core. I've been seeing this at bronze after bronze after bronze game, but I think he actually might be going in. Oh, sour about that, Chrono. Oh, sour. What a waste. He was supply block there. It looks like he's actually going to be uh, pumping out some fast zealots to do a rush. So it looks like it is a good thing that Jace is walling off because he's going to have some zealots up at his base very, very soon. I think... Uh, Sib got this idea because he scattered him out first, he realized he's close positions, and he wants to take this game out uh, very, very quickly, but it's going to go and backfire because, you know, that wall is up, and once that Terran wall is up, you ain't getting in, son. I don't care what you do, because as soon as those SCVs start repairing, that is it. One, one Marine will take out three Zealots with some infinite repair happening over here, but it looks like we are going to have attack, an attack uh, from Sib. He is moving up here right now. And he's going to be hating life. He's going to have to just fall back immediately. Here we go. Going right after those supply depots. Needs to get... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He actually... No, he is bringing SCV over. So, yeah, he does back off. He backs off very smartly. So, what is he going to do now? He's going to get up that Cyberness core. He is supply blocked yet again. Pylon going down. Doing a decent job at building probes. Take a look at that. 18 probes to 16 SCVs and one OP mule. Getting those minerals. Getting her done. Take a look at the income tab. 620 to 540 very very even for the most part we do have a bunker going down now for jace factory as well so we do have the, the three gates with a factory a pretty late refinery i still cannot tell what the uh, terran player is really planning on doing here he's kind of d'ing up he's got his factory going second refinery now going as well i don't know if he's going to try to push out here if he's or if he, you never know he might be going for a uh, marine medevac sort of deal We'll see. No idea. Over here, though, we do have four zealots on the outside. A probe over here. Looks like he is going to chuck down a proxy pylon. Still building lots of zealots. A little confused. Just a little bit. Uh, because how are you going to get into this base with zealots? I I have no idea. He's got a bunker up right now. He's got SCV ready to repair. He's got a crap ton of marines. So these zealots are going to fall pretty, pretty easily. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Protoss is just not looking great right now. He is getting a four gate. The four gate is so, 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 so late. We're almost at seven minutes. There is the scan. He knows exactly what's happening. Still, warp gate research is still so, so far away. 
I, I don't know how Sib is actually going to survive this. Stargate now going up for Jace. We do have a three gate or three barracks, sorry, Stargate factory. We do have a siege tank. Wow, this guy is getting everything and the kitchen sink up in this mother. Oh, pylon's going to go down and there it goes 100 minerals. Sorry about those 100 minerals. Still bringing up all kinds of zealots. Oh, one stalker. Woohoo! One stalker in this army. The Marines look like they are going to come out here. I don't know if I agree with this. It's going to be very close. It's going to come down to kiting. Oh, but he's taking the bait. No. Nope. All right, backing up. Oh, that one Marine's like, no, 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 no. Let me in, let me in. Let me in. And this Marine's like, no, nah, fight out. Here's on my shin, shin, shin. All right, you can come in. All right, that's cool. Another pylon going down. It looks like he's going to try to get maybe vision up here so we can warp in some units. This is not... Oh, he does. He gets the vision. He's going to be able to warp in a few units. But still, that is a whole lot of Marines. This bunker and the Marines inside doing all kinds of damage. All these Marines are tearing a strip into these stalkers. A siege tank now out as well. He's going to be able to take out one supply depot. The Terran just counters. That's it. That's all you need to do. Just... Oh, siege tank. Here we go. Oh, sour. Hating it. Explosion. And that pylon is going to go down as well. And all Jace needs to do at this point is just counter. And that's going to be game. Sib sitting on a whopping 1,200 minerals. No production really. Oh, there you go. Some production now going. Still 21 probes, 21 SCVs. Jace, my man, buddy, my brother from another mother, please attack him right now. This is becoming painful to watch. You need to do something. The guy just basically throwed his entire army at you. He is sitting on 1,200 minerals, and he is not building any units. Four units, 800 minerals. He needs to get another expansion. He needs to get some more gateways up. He needs to do a whole lot right now. A uh, command center, an expansion, going to be going down for Jace. I'm going to speed up the process a little bit. I'm going to go two times faster. Just because I feel as though we're going to be having a little bit of a turtle match. And, uh, you know. Whoa! Holy Sim City 5000, Batman! We have an immortal coming out. We have more gateways. But he's still sitting on one base. And the problem with this is... I'm going to slow this down so I can talk here for a second. The problem... Oh my god, look at all these structures. Huge problem. Sure, you spent your money. Okay? You're going to have all these structures. All these possible buildings to get more units but unfortunately you do not have the minerals coming in to continuously build off what one two three four five six two four six eight gates and a robo off one base it's not gonna fly homie that's why you should have got your nexus first started continuously building probes, transfer some over, and then you'd have a little bit more money to get a couple more gateways. Still not eight. Eight's overkill. Six? Sure. Um, but, you know, he does have a nice sizable army here, but at the same time, he is so far behind. An expansion now going up for Jace and a planetary fortress. Guy is turtling so bad right now. And there is nothing that Sib is going to be able to do against this. I mean, look at this. He's got siege tanks all sieged here. There is not a chance. If Jesus himself took over, he would go over there and be like, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, he would actually be like, uh, Jesus Christ. And he would just leave. That's, that's where he's at at this point. I'm now going to speed it up again. Finally getting down that nexus. Wow. This is one heck of a turtling match. We had a little bit of action there at the beginning. But both players just kind of sitting pretty here. Uh, Jace could have ended this game about six minutes ago. Planetary Fortress. Sexy looking thing, man. That is just an all-in-one building. That is just all-in-one. That's like a total gym. That shit will just work out your arms, your legs, your tries, your traps, your gluteus maximus. All kinds of stuff. All in one. It's like a total gym. For Terran. And here we go, the Planetary Fortress isn't going to be able to... Oh, Siege Tanks. Going to be able to heal this, or repair it, I should say, not heal. Throwing down a, po a point defense drone as well. He's not going to be able to take this out because, you know why? Planetary Fortress is OP! Takes out that entire army. Rage quit. GG.